Hello! If you have been following the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, you will have heard of a special force that has been mentioned a lot. It is the Wagner Group, a Russian-backed private military company. You may find it strange that there could be a private military company, as we usually hear about car companies, technology companies, or economic companies. Is it possible that there are people who are willing to risk their lives for money? Let's find out more in this video. The Wagner Group's mercenaries began operating in Ukraine in midsummer 2022, after the Russian military suffered many losses on the battlefield and needed to supplement their manpower. Currently, over 50,000 Wagner mercenaries are deployed in Ukraine. Immediately after joining the conflict, Wagner played a key role as the main attacking force of the Russian military on many hot fronts in eastern Ukraine. Two notable battles that Wagner participated in up to now are the battles of Soldar and Bakhmut in the Donetsk region in 2023. However, part of this achievement was also due to the support from the Russian regular army's artillery. In general, French Army Chief of Staff, General Pierre Schill, assessed that Wagner is currently the most positive force in Russia's campaign in Ukraine. At the same time, they are a formidable force because they are willing to pay the price to achieve their goals. The role of the Wagner mercenaries has been very important for the Russian military. But how did this private military company come into being? The organization first came to the world's attention in 2014, fighting alongside Russian-backed separatists in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine. At that time, people saw some pro-Russian soldiers also dressed in military uniforms, but the difference was that they did not wear military insignia. Therefore, they were called little green men. At this point, the Wagner Group had only a few hundred members. By 2016, Wagner mercenaries continued to appear. An investigation by an independent Russian newspaper revealed that Russia had hired members of a military company called Wagner to Syria. At this time, Wagner was believed to have about 1,000 mercenaries. But officially, the group did not exist in Russia, as Russian law prohibits private military companies. But Wagner has registered in Argentina and has a training camp in the village of Mokan in Russia, which is also the village where the training location of Russia's Intelligence Special Forces Brigade No. 10 is located. On paper, this training camp is a children's playground unrelated to the Ministry of Defense. In December 2021, New Life magazine analyzed data on 4,184 people confirmed to be Wagner mercenaries, based on data from the Ukraine Analysis and Security Center. The results showed that the average age of a Wagner volunteer was 40, and these people came from 15 different countries, including the United States. And the majority of them are Russian. When recruits participate in training, they are not allowed to use social media and internet applications. Wagner employees are not allowed to post images, texts, recordings, or videos containing any other information on the internet during training. They are also not allowed to reveal their place of residence, whether they are in Russia or another country. According to the Ukrainian Intelligence Security Service, Wagner mercenaries are trained by Russian military officers. By using the facilities of the Ministry of Defense for training and using Russian weapons, the Wagner Group is often seen by the West as a unit of the Ministry of Defense or the General Intelligence Directorate. However, officially, the Wagner Group is not recognized by the Russian government as a unit of the country, and their activities are considered those of a private company. In terms of salary, average monthly salaries at Wagner range from 90,000 to 250,000 rubles, or about 667 to 2.083 In 2018, Wagner once again appeared in Syria. At that time, about 500 pro-government Syrian forces, who spoke Russian and used military equipment produced by Russia, attacked the U.S. military station there. Immediately afterwards, the U.S. tried to contact Russia to negotiate a ceasefire. However, Russia replied that the attacking force was not theirs. After the battle, 200 people were killed. Although Russia asserted that the Russian military was not involved in the attack on the U.S. military, they also admitted that the casualties were indeed Russian. In addition to Syria, the Wagner Group of Mercenaries also operates in Africa. According to a 2021 report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies, Russian private military companies have been actively operating in Africa, the Middle East, Europe, Asia, and Latin America. Wagner has played a significant role in places such as Libya, the Central African Republic, Mali, and Sudan. So who is behind this group of mercenaries? Official sources indicate that Mr. Prigazin is the leader of the Wagner Group. He has been in prison before and was released in 1990 immediately after the dissolution of the Soviet Union.
He has connections with Russia's underworld, which has helped him rise to the upper echelons of society. He set up a chain of stalls selling hot dogs and then established the Concord Company. This company received a contract from the Russian government to provide meals, including for schools and the armed forces. Prigazin has served at events, including parties for President Putin. He is also known as Putin's chef. Previously, Mr. Prigazin claimed that he had no connection to the Wagner Group. However, when the war in Ukraine broke out, he declared himself as the founder of this mercenary company. Russia also confirmed its relationship with Wagner. Wagner is considered a modern, sophisticated, and notorious mercenary organization. The group owns modern Russian weapons, including planes and missiles. Members of Wagner are also former Russian military personnel. Recently, during the war in Ukraine, the Wagner Group has dramatically increased its number of mercenaries. Who are these new people? The answer is prisoners. They agreed that if they completed combat missions, they would be granted freedom. Initially, it was just a rumor, but recently information about Russia pardoning 5,000 prisoners has proven it to be true. At the same time, this has sparked a major controversy. Regarding Wagner, the United States recently accused North Korea of selling missiles to Wagner during the war in Ukraine. Of course, North Korea denied this. Currently, with 50,000 mercenaries, Wagner is the world's largest mercenary organization and plays an important role in the results achieved by Russia in Ukraine. In addition, Wagner is also accused of committing many acts of killing civilians, looting, and is being investigated by the United Nations for war crimes. So, we have just learned about Russia's most notorious mercenary group. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your comments and subscribe now to never miss a video and let's learn together. See you again.